I apologize for not doing a video with you all yesterday. It was a crazy, insane Wednesday day off. And so much so that we didn't have any air, any hot water by the end of Wednesday. Finally, midday today while I worked and the family was here trying to get things organized and make sure that they were staying on the path to get it working. Uh, it was just too much in one day and you just, I just felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders and the closer we get to the fourth all these yahoos think that they need to compete with the Rice Krispie people with snap crackle and poppin but anyway uh, it's enough to drive a good woman crazy I went ahead today and worked and like I was supposed to and here we had the air finally come on and it's a blessing because now the cats can go back to the front room and Grandpa can have his walkway that he needs so he can get to his commode at nighttime without having to bump the cats. So that's a blessing. And that means the air unit that was in his room, they ended up taking it out. They had brought just a window unit for him and the animals, remember. So now we have air in the house. Knock on wood, hopefully it stays working. However, we still do not have hot water. And they claim that they will have that with for us to tomorrow. Now, here's the thing about it. My mom lives in Louisville, Illinois, and apparently that's where the part store is for this uh, company. And they, they first told my mom she had to call the heater company and work it out with them. Well, the heater company is like, we don't talk with just everybody in the whole nation. We talk with companies and corporations that actually install these things. She calls them back. It's a game of telephone tag. Back, 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 and back and forth. Ended up being that she finally is going to pick up the piece tomorrow down there in her area of Louisville. Drive it up here. And they're going to put the little piece on that go to fix the hot water heater. And they hope that it holds. Knock on wood. <laughs> And we still have not yet to hear from anybody to, other than they've done estimate after estimate about if they're going to do the basement or not. We hope that we get an answer sometime, to, you know, uh, tomorrow or <laughs> before the first of the week. I don't know, sometime soon. I just about want to scream on that. And uh, the kids, I let them out. That's my cats. I let them out to play tonight, and they had a big old time chasing each other, running through the house, and went over the couch a few times, and oh goodness, uh, it was so funny. They wore me out just watching them. But uh, the cat, uh, Sonic, it was, no, it was, yeah, it was Sonic at first was inside the cage, and I looked, and there was Heathcliff on the table watching me. <laughs> He's a hoot. And so finally, I had to put him in the cage because I had to go take out trash. Well, then I come back in, they're both mewing. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, with that, I have to take you back out of the cage. And I held him, and I held him. Well, then, of course, Sonic decides to take off. And I have to go chase Sonic and put him back in the cage. So I put a cover over the cage just now so that they can grow tired and go to sleep and get their rest. And I want to come on here and do these cards so I can give the cards to my mom tomorrow so she can um, put them in the scrapbook. And I want to share some of these little... Uh, stories with you from the cards. Some people, when they write nice little tidbits, I like to share them. So stay tuned. The card shower continues up next. <laughs>